Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you. Uh, welcome to your yoga class this morning at the um, lovely spot of Greenfield. Um, today for our class, you'll need two props. You will need a yoga block. And um, if you don't have one, we can adapt it a little bit. And you will need a yoga blanket. And this is mostly for knee padding, so that's what you'll be using. We'll be doing kind of a lion to extended child's pose sequence. So, um, and Milo's here to let you know he's ready for yoga. So um, that's what you'll need today. I'm so glad you made it this morning. Let's start actually sitting on a block, or if you don't have a block available, let's start with a pillow. And you can just sit down, super easy. Crossing your legs. If this is easy for you, then go ahead and do this. If this is uncomfortable in any way, just take that one leg and you can extend both legs out. Or if you want to have just one leg, you can switch. Or if this is easy for you too, whatever, if you need to hold onto your knees, whatever works to help you basically sit up nice and tall over, over your block. Taking your hands, it doesn't matter which leg is in front, doesn't really matter. Just take your hands and just bring the palms together at the chest to center your energy. And I keep my knuckles soft and just touching the base of the hands and the fingertips together. You can either close your eyes if you want, or if you'd like, you can turn your gaze down towards the floor. Just to set an intention for your time this morning with me. I guess it'll be about 15 to 18 minute sequence just to get you going. You're breathing really naturally to start. Nothing manufactured, nothing fancy, super easy breathing. But the one thing I'd like you to do while you're here, just gazing down or closing your eyes is feel the connection of your belly button drawing back towards your spine. And that is a beautiful connection of strength and softness because when you're moving in Tai Chi or yoga or dance, there is that lovely combination of strength and softness. And here in the Western world, we're all about abs, right? Core strength. It's a great way to get connected to that energy. Let's take two more breaths. Keep that belly drawn back towards your spine. Absolutely lovely. And before we move on, Set an intention for your day. What is your story going to be for today? Will it be one of positivity, of focus, of clarity, of empathy? And that's the vibration that you'll carry with you as you travel through your life story today. Gently relax the hands. If you have a block, take it out from underneath. Whichever leg is in front, it doesn't matter. Let's just switch. Nice. Put your, hand, your right hand down on the mat, lifting your rib cage up, just bring the left arm all the way up. So you're lifting straight up to start. Relax that right shoulder away from your ear. Take a nice breath in. As you exhale, bring your left forearm across and just touch the top of the knee. Good. Breathe in, bring that left arm all the way up. You're just reaching up. As you exhale, bring that arm across. So we're waking up your back and your side ribs a little bit. Just keep going in this motion two more times. Breathe in when you go up, exhale when you release down, the right shoulder's away from your ear. One more time, breathe in, and then exhale, good. Bring yourself all the way up, switch your feet, so whichever other one is gonna be in front, lean onto your left hand. Just bring the right arm all the way up, sitting up nice and tall. Drop that left shoulder away from your ear, take a breath in. As you exhale, bring that right forearm across. Breathe in, nice twist up. Exhale, twist down. Four more, just like that. Beautiful breath in, up. Exhale, twist, waking up the shoulder and the back ribs. Breathe in, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Just natural breathing, doesn't have to be any fancy yoga breath. Exhale. Last one. Here we go. Breathe, lift up, drop that left shoulder. And then exhale, bring that arm down, switch your feet again. Lean onto that right arm, drop that right shoulder. Nice lifting of the rib cage up. Now take that left elbow and really pick it up. So you're trying to get that left sh uh, shoulder by your ear and bend your elbow. Keep your palm turned away from your face. Nice energy in both hands. Belly is strong. Back towards your spine. Breathe in. Come on up. 
Good, keep your legs exactly where they are. Place the left hand down, drop the left shoulder, pick up that right side so that right shoulder does come up by your ear, bend the elbow, turn your palm away from your face. Easy breathing here, breathing, come up. Do the same thing on the other side, drop that right shoulder, lift up, straighten up and fly right, bend the elbow, turn the palm away from your face if you wanna rotate your head up. Good, breathing, come up. And then other side, last one, lift up, drop the shoulder, Get that arm way up, bend the elbow, nice and nice turn, good. Beautiful, breathe in, come on up. Switch your legs, go ahead and do that. Let's do easy twisting side to side, so you lift up to twist, we're not gonna stay in, in any, holding any position. But easy twisting side to side, and I'm not doing my big Yoga Journal magazine cover twist here, you know, where you twist all the way around. This is just to get us going during the day, and this is usually what I do, for, not every morning, I would say, every morning that I can, just to get myself going. Good, a couple more. We're gonna keep going with this twisting, but we're going to get it more into your upper back, so you bring the right arm across, just swing it around. Same thing on the other side. Good, and you're using the hand that's on the ground as a bit of traction, so you're just tractioning across. Good, keep that belly nice and strong. You're lifting up to twist, lift up to twist. No slumping down, lifting up. Good, a couple more. And I'm actually turning my arm in. See how I'm turning in? Get that nice spin in your arms. Beautiful. One more on the other side and then we'll move on. Good. Come to stillness. You're gonna need your blanket or your towel to be under your knees for padding, okay? I did this last week without padding on this floor. It's, it's okay, but if you're doing this in your kitchen, this would be highly painful. So you're coming onto all fours here. And the idea here is not to let your belly slump and your butt stick up. As much as you can, get your hands under your shoulders, get the nice flat back so I could put a, a tray of martinis on your back and they wouldn't, they wouldn't tip over. So let's take your left leg and just curl the toes back, press, I'm gonna walk forward so you can see, press the heel back, good. So I have my toes curled under, I'm pressing my left heel back. Now walk your hands forward just a little bit and then roll over the top of the foot. You're gonna transfer your weight forward so you can stretch the top of your left foot. Now swing the hips back, press the heel back. Come forward again, roll over the top of the foot. Two more times, just like that. You're keeping your belly nice and strong, so just rolling back and then rolling over. One more time, waking up your feet and your calves and your shins. Great, let's take a little weight off of your hands. Just for a second, and we'll do your other leg. So just bring your hips back, bend your elbows, put your uh, forearms down on the mat, just wiggle your tush side to side, relax your shoulders, relax your head. So when we do our little lion sequence, this is um, part of the pose you're gonna be in. Okay, come back onto all fours. Let's do your other leg. So you take your right legs, you curl your toes back. Good, walk your hands forward a little bit so you have a little distance to go. And then roll forward, you drop your hips forward, and then roll them back. Three more times, just like that. Easy breathing, nothing big. One more time, press that heel back. Last one. Then this, bend the knee, bring your weight back. Easy does it, keep your elbows bent. Just let your, this is a great um, back breathing pose. And for those of us in New England that have all the snow coming, if you're getting ready to shovel snow, this is a good one. Good, keep the blanket under your knees. Let's come up for a second. Let's take your left leg forward and your right leg is in back. So you just have your hand on your left knee. Take a nice breath in. As you exhale, just let your hips drop forward. Now make sure that your knee does not go over your foot. In all of the yoga videos, hopefully they tell you a little bit about that. So you're just letting your weight come forward. I'm curling my back toes under. If you have bunions and that hurts, go ahead and flatten the foot. But if you can stretch your foot, do that. So just easy letting the weight come forward. You're waking up the front of the right hip. Take a nice breath in, come up, bring your arms all the way up, come out of your lunge, do a nice wide V with your hands, and as you exhale, 
drop back down into that nice lunge. Keep your chest nice and lifted. If you want to, if you feel comfortable lifting your chin up, just greeting the day. Good. Take a nice breath in and come back out of it. You're going to take your left hand onto your left knee. Take a breath in. As you exhale, drop into that lunge again. Press that left hand on the inside of the left knee. Pick up your right arm. Turn your hand away. Swing that right shoulder back. Easy breathing. Nice breathe in. And then exhale. Come out of it. Good. Let's switch legs. So the right leg is going to come in front. The left leg is in back. Come up first. Get your balance. A lot of times you have to figure out what your balance is. Easy low lunge. Breathe in. Exhale. Just drop the hips forward. So now we're stretching the front of the left hip. NBD as they say in texting world. Easy breathing. Shoulders are relaxed away from your neck. Come on up. Good. Let's do that wide V thing. So you breathe in. You lift your ribs up. Lift your chest up. Do a nice wide V energy in your hands. And then drop forward if you want to lift your chin up. That's totally groovy too. Breathe in. Come on up. Nice. Take that right hand on the right knee. Rotate the hand away. Take a breath in. As you exhale, drop into that lunge. Pick up the left arm. Turn, spread the fingers, and look out to that left hand. Really extend the right arm forward. Nice big breathing here. Drop that left shoulder. Big twist. Breathe in. And then exhale. Let's come on out of it. Nice. So let's go ahead and stand up. Keep your blanket handy because you'll need it in a little bit. And have your block ready to go. So let's put it on its highest side, right by your side there. And we'll use it in just a little bit. Actually, I'll move it so you can see my feet. All right. We did this one two weeks ago. Your feet are hip width apart. Nice and easy to stretch the left arm all the way up. Good. Hold on to the left wrist with your right hand. Pick up those ribs and just lean over to the right. So you're stretching through the whole left side of your body. Take a nice breath in. As you exhale, concave around your belly. Roll that left arm forward. If you want to bend your knees a little bit, you can. Breathe in and spin. You should feel really good when you rotate your chest up towards the moon. And you can pull a little bit if you need to bend your elbow. That's fine. Good. Everyone breathe in. And then bring yourself up. Release that arm down. Bring the other arm straight up first. Hold on to the wrist. Draw your belly back and lean over to the left. Keep your belly nice and strong. Good. Breathe in. Nice concave rounding down. Knees are slightly soft, so you have buoyancy in the knees. Breathe in and then spin and rotate up towards the moon, whatever it's doing right now. If Eric Linter is watching, he could probably re-forward me his horoscope. Good. Breathe in and then exhale. Come on back to the center. Bring your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart and just turn your feet out. We did this last time too. You breathe in, you get the energy from the back. You exhale, you bring the energy towards your heart. Breathe in, you swim, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, scoot the energy to the front. Breathe in, you scoot that energy from the back up to the front three more times for six. Beautiful breath in. Keep that chest nice and lifted. Exhale to the front. Breathe in, swim back. Exhale, front. Last one in this pattern. Really imagine you're swimming in that circle of energy. And then exhale, come back to the center. Beautiful. Soften the knees, relax the shoulders nice and easy. Move your neck around a little bit. Relax your jaw. Nice. We'll do a little kind of bowing to your energy. So you're going to rotate towards your left foot. Pick up the toes. And put your hand on your heart and reach down towards the leg. And then come all the way up. And you're going to rotate the other way. The opposite arm comes across. You don't have to touch the floor. Breathe in. Come up. And you rotate around. Just energy in the heart. Bowing to your energy. Come up. And then to the other side. Give yourself like a big happy energy for showing up this morning. Or if you're doing this after work. Congratulations, you had a good day. So we'll do one more set each side, just bowing to your own energy. Here we go, just a nice lift, like you're the most beautiful woo, ballerina. I'm way getting into it now. My ballet past is coming back. One more time here. 
good. And just bring the arms all the way up. Bring your feet a little bit wider. Nice. Keep the toes turned out. Let's get the energy from the right side. So you're just going to pivot around, roll into the ball of the left foot, and then bring the energy to your heart. And then we'll go the other way. So you pivot on the back foot. And then exhale, bring the energy. Other side. Really reach, stretch, and come back. Reach, stretch, and come back. Good. One more time. Reach, stretch, and come back. Last one on the other side. On this side. So reach, stretch, and come back. Good. Let's walk heel toe your feet together. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this. Take a nice breath in. Reach all the way up. Good. Bend your knees slightly, and with a flat back, it's very important you have a flat back. Just bring your torso down. Keep your knees nice and bent. Now we're not going for any big magazine type of stretch here. We're just getting a nice, easy, easy stretch. Put your weight onto your heels so you feel your hamstrings a little bit. Keep your toes connected to the earth. So you're stretching the back part of your legs. Good. Bring your weight back to the center. Everybody bend your knees. Put your hands on your knees. And with a flat back, draw your belly back. Bring yourself all the way up. Inhale the arms up. And as you exhale, interlace your fingers and bring that energy right to your heart. Good. Nice. We're going to come back down to the ground, so you'll need your block and your blanket. I'm going to turn towards you so you can actually see this. So bring your blanket down. Let's have your block on your, right, on your left side, because I think you're opposite me. Step your right leg forward. Curl your back toes under, just like we did that lunge thing. So that block seems like it's a long way down. If it seems like it's too far when we do this, then just go only as far as you can. Don't go falling over. So you're not doing anything right now. Back toes are curled under. Make sure you don't have your knee go over your toe. Breathe in. As you exhale, just do an easy drop into a low lunge, just like we did. Take your left hand on your block. It's going to be right on the side. Start with your fingertips up and then bring that right arm all the way over. Drop the left shoulder. And if this is easy peasy, flatten your hand on the block. Good. Super easy. Spin your chest towards the moon. Breathe in. As you exhale, come out of your lunge. Bring your block to your other side. Here we go. Sitting up nice and tall, not doing your lunge yet. Breathe in. As you exhale, drop the hips forward. Just check and make sure that block is in a good spot. Lift that left arm all the way up and then drop the right shoulder as you reach over. If this is like snooze fest, put your hand flat on the block. Try not to lean over into the block. Maintain your whole strength. Good. Nice. Take a breath in and come on up. Good. We can get the block out of the way, but keep your blanket where it is. So lion pose, lion like ah, is... This nice, obviously fierce kind of pose. If you are able to come up, come sa, go ahead and do this. If this really hurts your knees, and there's a lot of people that can't do this, you can come up like this, and it's going to be a, a bit of a journey for you to do this motion. I'll just show you really quickly what we're going to do. You take a nice breath in, arms up. As you exhale, you pitch yourself forward, and then do a push-up, elbows out, Back to extended child's pose, and then back up to sit. You breathe in, the arms come up. Follow with me. As you exhale, you come forward, and then you do a push-up, and then you roll back, extended child's pose. Right away, bring yourself up to sit. Here we go. Arms up. As you exhale, come forward. Push-up. Roll back, extended child's pose, and right up to sit. Good. Arms up. Here we go. Exhale, come forward. Push up. Extended child's pose. Right up to sit. Arms up. Same pattern. We're going to keep going for a little bit. Come forward. Nice push up. All the way back. Extended child's pose. Up to sit. Arms up. Exhale, come all the way forward. Push up. Extended child's pose. Good. And up to sit. You should be sweating a little up. All the way forward, or at least your heart rate should be going a bit. Push up all the way down, back, and up to sit. Breathe in. Up, I'm watching the time. We're supposed to be doing this for a minute. All the way down, and back. Good. And all the way up. Pump the energy up. Exhale. Come forward. You got it. And back. 
Good. Up. Keep going. Up you go. Exhale. Come forward. And back. Last one. You can do it all the way up. Think of all those lions. Exhale. Come forward. Push up. And back to extend a child's pose. And then bring yourself up to lion pose. Rotate your paws out so your palms are going forward. Roll your shoulders back. Take a nice breath in. Strong exhale through your mouth, stick your tongue out. Breathe it again. Strong exhale, tongue out. Two more, breath in. Lion. Last one, breathe in. Exhale. Beautiful. Bring the fingertips together at the chest. So that should get your heart going a little bit, get the blood flowing. Good, nice. Let's go ahead and bring yourself down. You can sit down and get your blanket out of the way. Get your block one last time, place it down, and you're gonna use your block as a pillow. So placing your head down on your block, nice and easy. You wanna have room so you can massage your neck a little bit in the back, relaxing your jaw. Taking your hands, rotating, if it's comfortable, rotating your arms out, just relaxing your palms down. Move your head side to side a little bit here. Walk your shoulder blades together. Easy breathing. You should feel that nice heart pump from the lion movement. Natural breathing. If you can breathe more into your lower belly, that's a real good cleansing breath. Nice big conscious breathing. Good, keep the block where it is. Pick the knees up, just cup onto your knees with both hands. This is upside down child's pose. I'm relaxing my shoulders away from my ears. Upside down child's pose. Super easy. Good, those of us from gym class, cup onto your right knee, go all the way up, stretch your left leg all the way up and extend and lengthen that leg all the way down. Nice easy drawing up of the right leg. Again, roll your shoulders away from your ears. Nice and easy. Good. And then let's switch. So you cup onto your left knee with both hands, stretch your right leg all the way up, extend it all the way down. Good, shoulders away from your ears. Draw the left knee all the way up. And then bring the right knee back up, back in upside down child's pose. Put your hands behind your knees, draw your belly back, just roll yourself on up to sit. Let's bring the block back. If you want to sit on the block, you can do that. If not, just go ahead and come to seated position, sitting up nice and tall, lifting up, taking both hands, interlacing your fingers and placing them onto your upper chest for the heart energy, breathing into the center of the hand. Two more breaths into that loving empathy, compassion. And bring the palms together at the chest. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you have a great day today. Tell your story, think of your story. And I'll see y'all soon, okay? Bye-bye, guys.